Hey guys, Frank Thomas here. I'm here to tell you a little bit about UBOT Studio. I have a lot of people who ask me questions about UBOT and I want to answer those questions in this really quick video. So the very first question is, is UBOT Studio actually a great program to use? Is it hard to use? What can it do? You know, are these guys going to be around for a little while? Let me ask the, answer the first questions. Will it do the job? Yes, if you want to do web automation, UBOT Studio is, I, I believe, that it's the easiest tool I've seen on the web to to automate anything on the web. There's very little that UBOT Studio cannot do. You you will as you develop your skills at programming and don't be frightened when I say programming because you don't need to be a programmer to buy UBOT. When I bought UBOT, I wanted to learn how to program and I tried to learn how to program, but I struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled. Eventually, when I bought UBOT Studio, it clicked. It made sense. It was so easy to use and let me and, and you know I gotta tell you I started using UBOT when it was version 2 and that answers one of the other questions are these guys gonna be around in six months from now well let me give you a little bit of proof here I joined the UBOT forum right after I bought UBOT studio way way back here let me just see here I'm gonna go back to my profile here I joined in fe 15th of February 2010 so five years ago I joined when it was just UBOT version 2, and you can see I haven't even upgraded mine. I'm still saying I'm using 3.5, version 3.5, and UBOT is well into version 5 now. I started using it when it was version 2, and it was a lot harder to use, and but it worked great, you know, and it's gotten better and better and better. I'm showing you here, this is the screen for the developer's version, and that's another question, you know, what version should I get? You know, UBOT looks like a great package, but what version should I get? Because, you know, as you get up in the packages, these things get really expensive. The standard starts at $245, and the developer goes up to $695. Let me tell you something. If you're looking to automate things on the web, and you're automating a lot of simple sites, even fairly complex sites, the standard edition will do a lot for you. You can, you can automate, I would say, probably about 80% of what you're going to find on the web. If you want to be able to automate everything and have all the, 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 the guts for the program in it, but you're not interested in selling your bots, the professional version of 495 is the way to go. But if you want to sell bots, and I recommend that you learn how to build, use you. The whole premise was somebody came to me one day and said, you know, have you got any idea how to automate posting through a, a service called Ping FM? And what it did was it's a lot like the new service called IFTTT, if then, the, then do this. it What it does is you post to one place, then it automatically turns around and posts to a bunch of different social networks. And that was what Power Ping, F, well, that's what Ping FM did way back when. What we did is we built a product that would let you connect hundreds of accounts and post randomly at different times and have some links and posts and and some information messages in the post, so it made the posting look very natural. And we sold a lot of copies. To give you some idea, you might say, wow, Frank, you know, um, the developer version is 700 bucks. But let me tell you a little secret. In one week, we sold over $30,000 in sales on this program. In one week. Now, half of it went to the affiliates, and I know that. But my partner and I, we split the other half, and I, I could buy 15 copies of this program with the profits we made, and I did that in one day. It took me one day to develop this program. Yes, I knew how to use the program at that point in time, and I'd already developed several bots, but this was one of the, the, the hits, home runs that I initially did. I went on to do several other WSOs with different partners, and I was usually the programmer in the background, and I would get a quarter of the profits, and uh, it was great. And I do lots of freelance work with UBOT Studio. It's not unusual for me to create a bot for somebody. They will want to automate a website to uh, collect information. Uh, a good example is one of my clients has a site where they show tools and such. And what they do is they have affiliations with these different tool companies. So what I do is I create a bot for them. They go to that tool, their site. I create the bot to scrape all the details from that site, put it into a nice clean database, and UBOT can then turn right around using its database commands and insert it into their database exactly the way the way you want to see it, groomed and and you know perfectly the way they want to see it. And with a developer version, you can create some really awesome um, 
looks, you can make it look so it doesn't look like UBOT Studio. Initially, when, when I first got UBOT, even when you had the dev version, you could tell when it was a UBOT program. And, you know, a lot of people were like, wow, you know, you must have coded that in an afternoon and it was hard to sell. But now you can't tell. You can build the interface just like an HTML interface and have everything in it. And you can't tell. I've bought programs and later realized it was developed with UBOT and went, ah, I should have did that. That's an excellent tool. So there's lots of really great ideas. Okay. So is it easy to learn? Yes. Don't let the fact that this is a programming interface freak you out. You can literally drag and drop if that's what you want to do. Let's say I want to click on here. Uh, before I click on there, I want, let's say, be able to navigate. You can go in here. You can look for the, and, and the commands and the parameters are very straightforward. Like a browser command, let's say I want to navigate. And you see it puts in the, the address where I'm already at. So let's say I want to run this now. I can run this. Like within under 15 seconds, I've pointed you to the, um, the, uh, the videos that I've actually done for UBOT Studio, showing them how to use it. And that's how much I believe in this software. I took the time on my personal YouTube channel, and I was creating a whole bunch of videos because I thought this was a great package and everybody had to use it. I had no affiliate link at that time. I had no remuneration, monitoral remuneration or anything like that. And I loved the program so much that I just created videos. It wasn't long before the folks at UBOT Studio recognized this and asked me to start cutting videos for them. So right here, oh, yeah, another revenue stream. Now, I've already done this, but uh, you can't. But can, the, the fact of the matter is you can still get lots of great clients. Just keep your ears open. Like today, I was talking um, to one fellow who was an SEO guy, and he was saying to me, I'd love to be able to automate this particular service, you know, like uh, in it, because I'm paying a lot of money every month. And I thought, you know, I could do that. You know, it would take me a couple of days to put that all together, but I can do that. And we could turn around and sell that whole service as well. You know, I know a lot of guys, what they're doing is they're, they're creating things that can be automated and they're creating a result on Fiverr. They're selling gigs on Fiverr. Now, a good example is a lot of these guys are buying Ubot and they're picking it up and they're building, let's say, all the accounts that you need for social posting. And what they do is they charge you five bucks and you think, how can this guy do this for five bucks? It's easy. Once you've built the software, they get gig after gig after gig after gig. And it's not the one that makes the difference. It's when you make 100 sales, all of a sudden, a five bucks turns into $500. And a day's worth of work, hey, 500 bucks for a day's worth of work, not too bad. It's a good start. Now, let me tell you something. I actually create bots that do automation, and I don't ever sell the bot. I actually create the service for a person. There's a service that I'm doing right now, and I can't disclose any of it just because of the fact that it's very private. Um, but I'm doing automation, and it's on the web. And every time I run that bot, it makes me an easy $1,000. Easy $1,000. And this company's paying me between $1,000 and $3,000 a month to automate something that would take them and cost them twice as much to do manually. That's the power of UBOT. Now, let me just answer a few more questions here. So will they be around for more than six months? Absolutely. You could see on my profile, they've already been around for five years, and I know the owners, and I know they want to be around for a long time. It does web automation like you couldn't believe, and yes, you can make money with this tool. This tool, not a word of a lie, has made me easily half a million dollars in profits over the last five years. It's, you know, every year it doesn't sound like very much, but you know something, it adds up and it's, it's money in the bank and it continues to make me money. So should you buy UBOT Studio? If you have a desire to automate the web and you feel that you can learn how to program with this easy to use tool, very easy to use, then I say yes. You know, you can start out with the, the basic version, like the, um, The standard version here at $245 and buy up, but you can, I would recommend if you're going to start out, I would go for the professional version without a shadow of a doubt. The, some of the tools that are in the pro version, like socketing, um, being able to, uh, I don't use uh, SQL integration, but it's there. I use it every once in a while. Multi-threading, that allows you, I had one person who wanted to um, cast votes on a particular web service and I created this bot for them. And I charged them about 500 bucks for it. It took me a couple hours to build. And the whole idea is it would cast votes on this 
particular website for this particular person, and it was creating thousands of volts every day. And it sounds kind of uh, sideways, but that's what they wanted, so that's what they got, and I got paid for that. And as well as it lets you go into a code version, and when you're initially using it, you don't even need to use the code version. To give you an idea what that looks like, this is what the code version looks like. It just shows you the code of the program. You don't need to use it. You can use the easy not node version, which is just so easy to use. You can drag your commands right in here. You can run JavaScript. If you want to run JavaScript, you can change your focus. You can email. You've got data commands. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with this program. It's really easy to use. There's nothing else on the web like it for this price point. Do I recommend you UBOT Studio? Absolutely. Frank Thomas here. My link, if you want to see what UBOT Studio is all about, is just below in the descriptor here. So click on it, take a look at it, and um, hey, if you join, be sure you send me a message in a form. I'm there under F. Thomas. Thank you so much. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.